Okay, it takes three minutes to warm the water. Once that's on, it takes about 30 seconds to make the actual cup of coffee. I think we call it three minutes and 30 seconds is what it takes. Okay, that's the time to beat then. So this is how this is going to work. We have one water jet made, water jet channel exclusive coffee maker, mug right there, pod in the top. So this is Dunkin' Donuts. Slides in, blend. and then you move the water jet nozzle over to be right up above that pod turn it on and you fill your mug. And just to be sure that you don't break your mug, we put a steel plate down the no, bottom. It's called an iron supplement, Dan. <laughs> Full pressure water only, test one. So it pierces the hole in the top and then the coffee comes out the bottom. Just like we planned. And... So there's the uh, filter in there. <laughs> but it looks like we just punched a hole through the filter. <laughs> oh, it brewed it, it brewed it real nice. <laughs> and what does our cup look like? Oh yeah, that's just how I like it. <laughs> Now for the real test here. <laughs> Does this taste like a Dunkin' Donut? It's just as warm as I like it, <laughs> but it does not taste like a donut. Is it chewy? <laughs> it's good. The next step will be putting a lid on it to see if we can kind of keep it all from coming back out the, the top. So this lid has a rubber gasket. We might want to, we'll see if we need to strap it down or not. I'm thinking because it opens here, that'll relieve the back pressure. And so the water coming back up won't totally blast the lid off. Okay. That's the theory. So on this first test, we only ran the water jet for 15 seconds, which gives us a net time saving of three minutes and 15 seconds. I think that's pretty good. What are you going to do with all your extra time now? Funny you should ask that, Dan. I'm gonna go to bombfell.com. They're the sponsor of today's video. Bombfell is an easier way for men to get better clothes. All you have to do is complete a simple survey and they'll match you with your own personal stylist. You tell the stylist what type of clothes you want, whether you want some pants, a shirt, socks, ties, swim trunks, whatever. She'll match you uh, with things that she thinks you'll like. You get an email, you say, hey, I like that, don't like that. She'll switch stuff out uh, as soon as you're happy. Um, you get a box in the mail. Once you open up your box, you can try on all the clothes. If you end up not liking stuff, you can return it. There's free shipping, free returns. But the more stuff that you keep, the more you save. I don't know about you, but I don't like shopping. I don't like going in the store. I don't like talking to the salespeople and them asking to help you. It's not fun. I'd rather be at home uh, shopping on the toilet. Bombfill removes all the worst parts of shopping and they're completely flexible. You can receive clothes when you want, you can cancel, pause at any time. I was really impressed with Bombfell. Uh, I really like the pants that they sent me. In fact, I'm wearing them right now. Woo! And right now, Bombfell is giving our viewers $25 off their first purchase. All you have to do is go to bombfell.com slash waterjet to take advantage of this offer. You can click on the link in the description or you can sprint to your nearest web browser and type in B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L dot C-O-M forward slash W-A-T-E-R-J-E-T to get $25 off your next order. Now that we've saved so much time buying clothes, let's brew another cup of joe. Ooh, it's warm. This one's warmer than the last one. And we are... Oh, that looks good. About the same. We've got all the zip ties in place. Cup is in the machine. Just need a pod. We should be good.
Oh yeah, this is feeling full. Hey. Oh yeah, it's steamy. That's not nothing. Wait, what is, there's something floating in it. Just, you know, some pieces of plastic. <laughs> Just parts of the lid. <laughs> Don't mind those. <laughs> On that last test, we actually started at low pressure. We started at like 20,000 PSI instead of 60,000, and it did a lot better. And with the lower pressure, we probably don't even need to strap the lid on because it's not pushing back that hard. Not the best test yet. That was, yeah, that was unexpected. It was coming in through the top, it pressurized this, and before it went through the bottom, it pressurized this, exploded the foil part up, then finally pierced through the bottom, um, and then put a bunch of lukewarm water into a, a dirty cup. <laughs> we got more pieces of plastic in there than uh, actual drink powder. Dump one in. Lid on. And then a second one up here, and we've already poked a hole in this one. We're going to start at low pressure. Whoops. So it builds up pressure inside, but it has somewhere to go so it doesn't blow the top out. And then any liquid that does come out of there should drain in through the vent if it's not going fast enough to splash out everywhere else. And I think we have all of our bases covered. This is the most scientific we've ever gotten on this channel. <laughs> Okay, we got a little bit on top that's looking promising. <laughs> and we got some plastic. The powder that was in there is even gone. <laughs> the pressure was too low to pierce through this, so it would move the lid off like that and it'd just screw everything up. So we're gonna line the water jet up with that big hole right there. Do a double shot again, poke a hole in the bottom of the pod that's there, line up the water jet with there, and it will be successful. This is almost easier than just using a Keurig. I'm not the cleanest Keurig <laughs> cup I've ever seen. Oh, oh that's a full cup. <laughs> we shouldn't have poured the extra powder. Yeah. <laughs> the water jet never actually broke through on that. We had it turned down to the lowest pressure possible. And I guess that wasn't enough to break through the bottom. It it dug like a divot in the bottom there, but well, I got to get back to work, Dan. It's been fun. Oh, that's good. <laughs>